I mean, news in itself is a lot about what's going wrong in the world. Like we're reporting some terrible thing that's happened in the world. We need news, but it doesn't necessarily make us feel good. And a show like Amazing Race is a show that can celebrate some of the better things in life. Hi, Phil. Thank you so much for speaking with Pop Culture today. How are you? I'm I'm good. I, I was in Globe about 15 minutes ago. Um, and I was uh and and I didn't know I had to be on camera. So I got up and I had a shower and I got ready. Story of my life, yes. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> So I'm so excited to talk to you today. So congratulations on another season of Amazing Race. Now, you've been with the show since the beginning, since 2001, and this is the 34th season. So what keeps you excited to keep returning back as the host? Well, I think, um, uh, you know, it's rare to be able to work on something where you're um, where it's it never feels like you're repeating yourself you know I, I guess it's a little bit like with your job too right you're meeting people new and different people all the time so that's what keeps it exciting because you never know who you're going to meet and never know what you're going to be doing and it's a little bit like that on amazing race you know we've been to i think some somewhere like 100 countries now and 400 episodes and we've done so many different things with so many different people. It's, it just keeps the job exciting. So I, I feel very lucky to work on a show that keeps me on my toes and keeps me guessing. And um, it's always exciting. It's always, I love people and I get to meet awesome people. What about the show do you feel makes it a success? Like I said, we're in its 34th season and aside from soap operas, that doesn't really happen. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I, I think it's just, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an awesome format, you know, um, Bertram and Elise came up with a great format where, um, we've got, um, people who are in a pre-existing relationship, traveling around the world, trying new and different things. It's a celebration of the human spirit. And I think people resonate to, to the race because it makes them feel good. And there's plenty of shows that, sort of focus on the things that are wrong and make entertainment out of that. I mean, news in itself is a lot about what's going wrong in the world. Like we're reporting some terrible thing that's happened in the world. We need news, but it doesn't necessarily make us feel good. And a show like Amazing Race is a show that can celebrate some of the better things in life rather than some of the things that go wrong. So mm -hmm. I, that's part of what I love about the show. And I think that's why people like to watch it because it makes them feel inspired and makes them want to get out and travel. And it makes them enjoy an experience with, with, uh, with, with the cast. You said that you've been to over a hundred countries alone with this show. What's been your favorite or give me like your top five. What's been the top five places that you've been on this show? Well, I, I, I personally have been in, been to over 130 in my life um because before i started on race i i had actually been to 60. um i, I it never gets old for me to go home i mean i'm from new zealand so i love going home i love going to new zealand um i think uh italy is is a is is an amazing place um i love france uh, france is the most visited country in the world so I'm a bit of a Francophile. I mean, I love the Pyrenees. I love the culture, the food. Gosh, you know, it, it's really anywhere new. Um, I love going to new places. I spent um, I spent a good part of my life in Antigua uh, when I was younger. I lived there for eight years on the island of Antigua in the Caribbean. So I love the Caribbean islands and exploring new places there. Uh, yeah, anywhere new and different is my favorite place, I would say. Even though I've been to to so many different places and I love going back to certain places, I also do love the place I've never been. There's a twist this season. What can you tease us about the unexpected inclusion? Well, this is the first season ever that we have had no non-elimination legs. And for years we've had them. Uh, People have not known where the elimination legs are. And so people have uh, run into the pit stop and they've been wondering, you know, 
are they going to be eliminated or not? We decided that we would take the elimination, the non-eliminations out and make it much more fait accompli. So if you're last, you're out, you're done. There's no second chance. So that definitely increased the tension on the show, I would have to say. And my last question to you is there's this new wave of like health and fitness and exercise enthusiasts. How do you think that this show is an extension of, you know, conversations surrounding wellness? Well, I'm excited about the fact that people are talking more about health and wellness. I've been into working out and eating healthy, certainly since my late 20s. Sorry, my 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 late teens. Um, I th- I think it's uh, I I think the awareness is huge, and I think on our show, uh, the the people that we've cast on our show have tended to be quite aware of working out and being fit because you got to be fit to be on the race, and it it's always a good thing to eat well because it you know helps to promote uh, longevity. Mm-hmm. So I'm. Yeah, I think we've had some really great examples on Amazing Race of people who have have led a really healthy lifestyle. And it's something we need to focus more on. You know, we've got a lot of obesity too. Um, and a lot of that is t- to do with education. And back in my day when I was at school, we actually had, uh, w- we learned about nutrition. You know, it was like a subject at school. Mm-hmm. what a carbohydrate was, what sugars were, what they did to you. Um, and I think I would love to see a day where kids are learning more about the fuel that they put in their bodies mixed with um, some form of exercise. You know, when I went to school, same thing was not only did we learn about nutrition, but we were also, it was compulsory to do some form of physical activity. So I think we need more, both of those in school, but it has to start young because You've got to, you want people to start those habits early. It's it's harder when people get older to have them change habits. Absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. And thank you for getting camera ready for me. And I look forward to watching the 34th season play out. And I would like to thank you for getting camera ready as well, because I think we were both apparently uh, having to get ready for being on camera today and we both did it we arrived did it. the amazing yeah. the amazing race to be on camera today that's what that yes, was both of us both of us well have a good rest of your week thank you